Hey guys, RC here. Episode 37 of our Journeyman Save. Just more of a catch-up video than anything else. So if you're looking for matches, probably move on to the next one. Uh, anyway, let's take a look. I wanted to go back and just kind of revisit some of our old teams. Well, our two old teams, Ubuntu Cape Town and Steenberg United. So let's take a look at Ubuntu Cape Town. We were there... Uh, through 2017-18, remember they fired us because we were looking for another job. So they are still in the National First Division, 15th position. Now that could be because the season is over. Let's see. Oh, looks like they got relegated this year. Bummer. All right, well. Uh, let's see, we want to look at, no, nope, not that. Ooh, I forgot they had periods. I forgot what that was. <laughs> All right, so let's see, stages, there we go. All right, so... 17 18 we were mid table and we got let go 18 19 they barely missed reg relegation barely missed relegation and this year they well no i guess they did not get relegated just one team goes down richards bay went down richards bay was the other club that we had interviewed with that year remember uh, Steenberg is still up, so we can take a look at them too while we are here. So our last year was, well, our year with Steenberg, I believe, was 1819. Let's go back to the standings. How did I get to that a second ago? I forgot. I forgot. Past position. No, not past positions. There we go. All right, so 17, 18, yes, we had got, gotten called up. All right, there we are. So we were solidly mid-table the first year. Dropped down to 11th after I left. And this year they are 10th. So they're actually doing pretty good for a newly promoted team. Let's take a look at players. See how many we remember. Um, <laughs> I may not remember any of them. Fair enough. All right. Um, nope, don't recognize any of those guys. Holler out if you recognize any. Happy? No. Sigwabella, I do remember him. He's listed, for, uh, transfer listed. I think I remember him. 1819, so I brought him in on a free. Okay, so he's still there, but he's transfer listed. Aaron Witz, he's their key guy. I don't recognize him, though. So let's see. If I did bring him in, it was like right before I left, I guess. I don't remember him. Robin Road. Pulse, I remember Pulse. Pulse was a big goal scorer for us, if I remember correctly, right? 14 and 28, yeah. Okay. All right, so he hasn't been as prolific, but he's been playing regular. So I do remember him. Jerry Mazabo, I remember him. He's 27. 15 and 31, our first year. All right. He has not been a regular starter since then. 
So yeah, not a not a lot of guys that I remember. And Ubuntu, I boy, I'm gonna have a hard time remembering any of their players. Uh, Ethan Sampson, recognize him. How's he been doing? So he's playing regularly. We brought him in on a free. Some goals. That's not bad for a back. A lot of lone guys. Nah, I don't recognize anybody else. Uh, let's see. Transfer history. Let's go back. All right, Siguabella, recognize him. Ganga. Ethan Schwartz, okay, I think this was my la my year there. All right, 1819. All right, Ethan Schwartz went to Steenberg. I think I bought him that year. Looks like they may have just let a lot of the guys go. That I remember. I mean, like, what happened to all of our strikers? <laughs> oh, well. I'll have to go back and look at the video and uh, some of the older videos and try to remember any of the players. I don't think... Yeah, I'll have to do that. But anyway, the other reason I wanted to come back is for some reason, and I guess I've never paid attention, when a club approaches you for an interview, evidently it does not automatically apply you for the job, which seems stupid. Because when I came back to here, we did not show as applied. It showed they were still searching. So... And, and what I was looking to do was to declare interest in the job. And it did not give me that option. It's still not giving me that option, to be fair. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get to job security. That does take a minute to open up. Um, but so what I did is I actually chose apply for the job and then it switched over to apply, but I had already interviewed. So, you know, like three or four days before in the last video. So now I've shown up as applied and I have uh, gotten the little email from the press going, Hey, are you, you know, are you interested in this job? And I said, yes. Um, all right. So it's still not giving me the option there. Um, but yeah, so actually I am the favorite. Now, what I am thinking is if we look at their schedule, they have one match left in the season on May 9th, and then the championship season ends. And then of course they restart in July of this year for friendlies. So, wow, they beat Dortmund this year. Huh. Um, what I am thinking is they're going to wait till season's end to make a move. Um, hopefully they offer me the job. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I went ahead and did the job. Let's look at uh, under review, precarious. St. Mirren's going to maybe be available in the Ladbrokes. See, the Ladbrokes is actually a little higher than the championship in rankings, uh, but St. Mirren's only a two-star club. Wolves has a ton of money. That's what I like about them, right? Um, high demands, though, of course. And then St. Johnstone. Finnish Premier's up there, I think. More Ladbrokes. Oh, that's Championship, not Premier. Oh, Ubuntu Cape Town. 
I don't see anything from um, uh, the Dutch from the Netherlands in the uh, what do they call that the uh, drawing a blank I am drawing a blank let's see championship competition the Arita Vise, that's right. God, duh. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, you know, I mean, going up to here would be good, but I was, you know, Ladbrokes, the Danish Super League, maybe, Arita Vise, maybe somewhere in that range would be something to do. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to touch base, kind of play a little catch up on what some of our past teams had done. And, um, yeah, I'll have to go back and look at some of those Ubuntu games and see if I can find who our strikers were because I'm, I'm drawing a blank. And we can look them up maybe in the next uh, video uh, when we come back. But I'm speculating that we're going to get through this stretch before we hear from Wolves that they're going to let the season end out. So we'll play uh, Gelfi off camera. Elfsberg in the Swedish Cup final. That'll be our next match back. And then uh, another league match at that point. So we'll see you guys at that point. Thanks for checking this short one out. We'll talk to you later. Bye.